Hi, Taurus. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for the month of July, 2024. Um, I did the moon reading, and I feel like that is the energy of the month um, until, of course, the full moon. All right. Um, and I continue with Tarot Tuesday, so please check out the series. Uh, I really like the series. And it's raining here, but it's raining softly because when it rains hard here, man, I, I would want to be able to do the video so well. <clears throat> but it's raining softly. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Shuffling. Let's get to work. Did I say it's Jeffrey? Did I say it's ripe color? Did I say happy July? Happy July. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. You know what I'm getting? I'll tell you. This is really not good i didn't realize how stained this was sorry um maybe if i do this i'm an old lady put my uh i should get a little handkerchief i do have some um old pocket squares that i use as handkerchiefs actually but i don't put them in my sleeve it is clever though um all right i have the five of pentacles i'm gonna have the three of pentacles it's interesting because they're both they're really interesting. And then I have death. I mean, that is a hell of an opening. All right, I'm never going to get this to be right. Um, you know, certain ones work and certain ones don't. It, it's the it's the um, it's the uh, structure of the knit. I was a knitter. I used to be a knitter a long time ago I, by machine. That's what I specialized in in school. All right. Um, I, I have the five. I have the three. I have the death card. The five is a change. It's a change. It's it's either. It's a change. It's a change in finance. It's a change in physical. Your physical body. It's a change in. Um, Okay, this is what I wanted to say earlier. I go off on these tangents. There's a lot of shadow work going on. I think July is going to be the shadow work month. So what does that mean? That means that in order to change, in order to transform, in order to have a better life, in order to have more of a sense of peace with oneself in the world, Sometimes you need to look at the things um, about ourselves or around ourselves that are um, keeping us in the dark, keeping us in something other than light. And um, if I get the three and the five, I'll show you the cards. Uh, you know, because this they're also in the dark. It's almost like you, maybe in the past, you've built things with people who were, um, not a, not as much on your side or not as you thought they were, or they're not as um, supportive as they could have been, or there's a piece of yourself that hasn't really allowed you to live in the light or to shine as brightly as you can shine. Let's put it that way. And it's almost like there's a piece, it's almost like the abandoned child or something that is like this piece of you that I think you need to recollect and uh, bring in and comfort and love and heal. 
with the help of your um, your higher self in order to transform completely and, and to like, you know, you know, if you've gone through a difficult whatever in your life, it's not about denying it. It's really about, I don't know, seeing it, feeling it, walking through it, making friends with it, asking what the, what the lesson, what the, um, what was the benefit of that experience? How did that benefit me? This is always a benefit, always. No matter what it is, always there's always some some sort of benefit because that we live in a dual world. So uh, there, there's always a benefit that you know you learn something, you gain something, you became stronger, you, you know something more compassionate. And I think it's time to incorporate that, heal it, incorporate it into yourself, and transform through that. What an opening! And drop the burden. An opening, uh, and and really know because she's the entrepreneur, and um, she's kind of a Taurus card. She she really is kind of a Taurus card. Um, because she loves luxury. She loves luxury. She's very self reliant. So to really understand that she made her own money, right? So she's really, really self-reliant. And I think it's really a self-reliance kind of um, energy. Because um, like yesterday, I figured out something on the computer. I mean, it took me hours, like hours. And I you know, kind of halfway figured it out. So I but um, I really would have loved if somebody to come and like press the buttons for me. That would have been great. But they're just not here, you know? And when I did, I mean, I'll get better at it. But when I did, it was like, oh, I can't believe you figured it out. And it felt good. You know, I mean, it was exhausting, but it, it felt good. It was like, OK, well, now I kind of know how to do that. And I mean, kind of, believe me. But, you know, yes, two days ago, and they're like, I have no freaking idea. And sometimes it's like that. And sometimes it's really big. And it's like, I do need to call somebody. But sometimes it's like, OK look it up you know so i did right yeah i willingly give it up i willingly give it up i willingly give up this piece of myself that i have left out in the cold i willingly give up i willingly give up that that not that no this is how i want to say it how do i want to say it I willingly give up the um, denial of, uh, I'm not looking at that darkness. I am going to look at the darkness. I am going to bring it into light. I am going to heal it. And then I'm going to let it go. And then I'm going to let it go and incorporate it into myself and allow it to be, and allow it to be. You know, if, let's say you mess up your arm really bad, right? What are you going to do? You know, pretend you don't, you know, you, you know I'm just going to get along in life without that arm. It's like, no, you know, maybe it's scarred. Maybe it's, you know, it doesn't work as perfectly as it did, but uh, it's still useful. It's still, you know, and I still want to, right? And, and love it. Yeah. And if you plant those types of seeds of I'm willing to love myself radically, willing to bring in all these pieces and parts of myself slowly, one at a time maybe, and plant new seeds. You know, it's almost like like this piece of you, I know I'm gonna go to the garden again, is, is, a, is a type of plant. And then you put it in soil and it didn't take. And um, it's like, well, I'm going to take it out. Maybe there was too much water. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to replant it and let it grow. I'm going to replant it in different lives. 
in different soil, in different air or something. So in fact, it's been raining like crazy here. And I have a tent and it's really more for the sun, honestly. It's not really a rain tent, it's really for the sun. And, um, and then last night I put the chairs like that on the table. And then I went up this morning and poured last night, I mean poured. And it was dry, it was all dry. And uh, I have some plants out there that are like completely waterlogged. And they're cactus, you know, they don't really like that. So I put them under the tent. So yes, you still get light, maybe not as much as you did, but you're not going to be waterlogged. I mean, that was like, it shifted things around in order for them to be healthy. All right. Ten. The old way isn't going to work anymore, so don't even bother trying. And like, let the, let the grief go down the uh, river. But first, you have to feel the grief. Right? First, you have to feel the grief. Oh, my. And, you know, you're really going to look at it. I mean, look, the death card is here, so we're not kidding. Uh, the nine, it's my second nine. Okay. Um, nines are about attainment. So, and this is really like, so I'll give you an example. It wasn't very heavy, thank God, because sometimes I go through such heavy stuff. A lot of times. I saw this pattern that I've been participating in, right, in my own life. That was my parents' pattern. It was really clear. And it wasn't like this revelation. It was like, oh, and um, like that's what this is about. It's like, I really see now, and I can't, there's no, there's no denial here. It's like, it's come to roost. It's like, oh, okay. And now that I see it and I feel the energy and the emotion of it, you know, okay, I felt it. I let it go through my body. I asked to be healed. I took actions toward getting better. And, and now it's time to get better, right? To heal, right? With the help of my higher self. So that I can get on with it. Also, she's the queen of timing. So the timing is perfect. Mm -hmm. Look, my third 10. This is about evolution of the soul. And you and you know, you're Taurus, so you show up in the card. You know, the bull here is Taurus. Um uh, yeah, it's the third 10. And I have the death card. So it's time for a cycle to be complete. Look, I, I really feel like we're all going through this. And I, I think this kind of energy came up a few months ago. But uh, all this, all this, um, all this solar photon energy that's coming through, it, it's like we're really, really being transformed as, as individuals and as a collective. And it's really time to heal and to... Um, let go of uh, our past uh, attitudes and um, doubts and et cetera, et cetera, fear um, so that we can move into this new energy that we're all, I don't know, experiencing. So I have three tens, it's completion. It's the end of a cycle. So, and sometimes at the end, you know, it's like, you know, there's work to be done. There's like, so you had a party, a really big party, really, really big party. And there's really a lot of work to be done now. Like I have to clean up all the food. I have to decide what I'm going to, what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to throw away, what I'm going to give away. And, you know, oh, well, this, this table, you know, it, that, that, that fourth leg is just, just about to crack. I can't believe I made it through the party. It's trying to throw it away, you know, and I really have decisions to make here and, uh, you know, like that. Yeah, so that a creative energy can come through and, and new fertility can come out. Because um, sometimes we need to clean up old stuff so that new stuff can come in. And sometimes we need to let go of things that, you know, well, I never thought I would let go of this. Look, um, at this point in my life, I'm so open to 
I mean, at this moment, really at this moment, because, you know, in five minutes, I'll change my mind. It's like, I mean, I like this apartment. It's really nice. But if something else comes along, it's fine. If, um, uh, if an opportunity comes that's um, to my benefit financially, I'm going to take it, you know, even if it's something I haven't done before. Because there's a lot I've shed, uh, a lot of um, like kind of self-imposed, um, how would I say it, uh, labels, like self-imposed label. I was there, so gay pride is this weekend. And um, it's so weird because like now all the straight people are like, oh, it's gay pride. Oh, oh, oh. Like, oh, are you so excited about it? And uh, part of me is like look I really want to go dancing and I put the word out that I want to go dancing that's really all I want to do I don't really care if I go to the parade or not I've you know I've gotten you know how many parades I've marched in I've been mar marching in those parades since the 80s and um I just really want to go dancing that's all I want to do and if it happens it happens and if it doesn't it doesn't and you know honestly if like something comes up and it's time for me to move from Mexico City. I mean, stay in Mexico, but the move from Mexico City is like, okay. And I move from Mexico City. Like, I'm not tied to a certain, I have to do this and I have to do that. And, you know, the weird thing is too, is like, I kind of lived in a gay ghetto for a really long time. All my friends are gay and blah, 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 for a really long time. And it helped me a lot. And now, I'm like, I don't really find it necessary. It's just like, okay, you know, it's not like, uh, it's just, it's just not necessary. Look, I, you know, I would love to have more gay friends. I would love to have more friends. Um, but if it's not the time for it, it's not the time. I, I don't have to identify with it. I mean, it, yeah, it's part of who I am, but it's like, it's not all I am. And the same thing goes for really everything else in my life, honestly. I can't believe that this is the place I'm in. But that's the place I'm in. All right, let me show you everything. Let me hope to move things around without breaking the glass. I, I've been breaking glasses like crazy. I had to buy new glasses. All right, drinking glasses. Um, it's time to evolve and to face um the anxiety and the fear so you can transform and get creative and bring yourself in out from the cold drop the burden rely on yourself willingly let go of situations and attitudes and feelings that no longer serve you so that you can become more whole with yourself receive messages have opportunities now is the time to release the grief. And to go back is not going to work. It's about planting new seeds in a new garden and knowing that they'll grow. Very nice reading. It's a very interior sort of month. I mean, I just started the month. I, you know, a lot of times I used to do, I used to mix up the order. Now I just do it in order. It's just so much easier. Because then I don't have to think, oh, did I? Did I do the air signs yet? Did I do Gemini? Did I do the water signs? Who should I start with? It's like, it's laid out in front of me, but that's the energy already. I could feel it. It's this is interior healing, self-healing, you know, being with oneself. Um, that's the energy of the month. All right. Um, I offer readings. I offer healings. I offer uh, meditations. Uh, Nancy and I are probably going to begin the tarot uh, classes again in the fall. Uh, I'm tr I'm working toward getting a cat two cataract operation. So if you could um, spare a couple of bucks on GoFundMe or you want to buy a reading, now is the time. All the information is below. Happy July. Thanks for tuning in. Blessings.